Hi, this is Ryan Oakley, and you're watching the free online course, Create a Gorgeous Website with Squarespace, a step-by-step -step guide for beginners. This is video nine, and in this video, we're going to be creating our sales page. So now I'm gonna show you how to create the book sales page. Um, right now it's blank. It's going to look like, like this. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video and go ahead and just populate all the text and all that, uh, the regular stuff that we've already done. And anything that's unique, I will come back and show you how to make that happen, especially putting in the, uh, the book and the purchase button and all that stuff. So I'll pause now and I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, now I've got um, our text and most of the elements that you know how to put in, like this is just an image. Uh, one thing to note about this one is I made it a clickable image so it opens up to the Otter Books website. Um, now let's go ahead and add in our book. So if I go, uh, what I mean by that is to add in uh, the book and the ability to order, make the order of a book. So I'm gonna go under here and add, this time I'm going to go down to commerce and add a product and find a product, just uh, do a search for humans and then that's the one that's gonna pop up because that's the only one I have. Now it gives me some options of what I wanna show. Do I wanna show the image? <clears throat> I do. Do I wanna show the title? I do. Do I wanna show the price? I do. I don't have a description. I don't need a description because all of the text on the page is essentially the description of it. Um, show add to cart button, I wanna see that as well. So I'm gonna go to save and there it is underneath there. And I want it to the to the right of all this text and stuff. So I'm gonna just scroll up and just come over here and and I'm gonna have to play around with it, but I, I'm gonna try to um, get it on the side. Now you can see that the, <clears throat> you can see that the title text is now over on the left column and I don't want it there. So all I have to do is go um, control X to get rid of it. And that's gonna change all of this text, which I can just change back. Sometimes you just gotta fiddle with it until it works. Um, so that's like that. And then I come up here, add some new text and just paste in the title. So there, that looks better. Okay. So now we've got um, a nice big image here and, and this add to cart button. One thing you'll notice is I've got purchase instead of the add to cart button because I only have one product. I want people to go straight to checkout once they select how many books they want. So I've got it changed to purchase and I'll, um, I'll show you how to change that when I'm done finishing creating this page. The next thing we're gonna create is this uh, little image carousel. So an image pops up here and then you can kind of click through it. And this shows people what the book actually looks like, which helps them decide whether it's something that they want to get. So let's go ahead and add that to our page. Oh, I did notice that all this stuff came underneath. Um, Let's go fix that. How do we fix this? We just need to, let's see. If I move the book to over there, and then I move this text, and this thing goes there, and then this text comes down. So again, you just gotta, you gotta fiddle with things until it works. I gotta find a way to get this text down. Move that line. Okay, there. <clears throat> so now we've got uh, this bottom stuff not, not lined up in a column. Okay, so I believe it's underneath this line, we're gonna add this carousel. Let's go do that now. So here under gallery is where you can add the carousel. So I'm gonna add it and it's gonna say, ask me to upload some Im images, so I'm gonna do that. I believe I can add in a few at a time. So I'm gonna go in and add all these. Go open. Yeah, and it's loading in just, just nicely. That looks really good. Um, I can adjust in here which, like the order of the, uh, the uh, images. I want this one to be the first one and the rest don't matter as much. But this one's important because it shows the whole book on the outside. You always judge a book by its cover, right? So now <clears throat> I go into design, automatically transition between slides. I don't need that, but I do want the, um, the show next, next buttons. 
and we'll have everything centered will be good. Let's see. And that looks good. Let's hit save and see what happens here. Okay. I'm going to just going to save this and refresh the page and see if it updates properly. Okay, I refreshed the page and I realized I did something wrong. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go into edit here. I did make a carousel, but it's not that's not exactly what I want. So I'm going to go edit this gallery block and I'm going to change the design. I actually want a slideshow. That's better. Um, and I think I want the images to automatically be cropped and to show the thumbnails. Okay, so this looks good. Don't need to show any of the titles and descriptions. So we can adjust the thumbnail heights and all that stuff, but I kind of like it like that. And everything else is fine. So let's save. Now, I find that th these images to be just a little bit too big. So I'm going to do the spacer trick um, to show you how to create some space and to shrink this overall um, block down. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add a spacer. In fact, I'm going to add two spacers because I'm going to put one on one side and one on the other side. So if I go ahead and kind of scroll up and try to get um, the single line to show up just like that, it'll make two columns, but I actually want to make three columns. So that's why I created this other spacer. So I'm going to do the same thing and move it over there. So that, that allows me to shrink up this block um, while keeping it centered. But I want it a little bit bigger, so I'm going to go ahead and shrink down that block a bit, and I'm going to shrink down this block a bit, and then that looks really good. I like that. Um, perfect. And I also realized I forgot uh, a bit of text that goes above this, so I'm just going to copy this and create a new text block above it. Paste this in. It's going to be centered and it looks like it is uh, heading three, I believe. Heading three. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So now we've got this uh, this book and another place to order the, the, uh, the book. Um, so basically, I want people in Nelson, in my hometown, to go to the local bookstore and pick up the book. But anybody that's online that needs it shipped needs to order it online. So that's why I've kind of got the, this explanation for folks out there. Okay, so let's do that. So we've got the space already lined up there. Let's go ahead and add <clears throat> um, a product. So we scroll down and we find our product right there. Same thing, search for our Humans of Nelson book. We found it. This time I'm not going to show the image because I've tried this before and it's really hard to kind of manipulate where this image shows up. Um, so I'm going to say not, don't show an image, show a title, show the price, and show the add to cart button. And that's it for that. And then what I'll do is I'll just create an image block and I'll manually just throw in the book, which I got to go find. The image of the book is, where is it? There it is. Nope, that's not it. Right here. There's the image of the book. And so if I throw that in there, um, then I'll be able to locate that next to the product information. So I go save. And then if I just kind of slide this down here like that, then the book comes in, looks really good next to um, next to that, which I think is how we've got it. Oh, I've actually got it without the book. Um, hmm. I'm going to go to the main site and, and make a change on this because I actually like the title being right here with the price. I like that. Okay, so let's go um, find out how to change this add to cart uh, buttons to a purchase button, which will go straight to checkout. So first we'll hit save. So we're going to be under commerce here and we're going to go to store settings and scroll down a bit. Um, I want my score, store currency to be in Canadian. So that's just, uh, that's just me. Uh, measurement st uh, standard doesn't really matter. Next order number, 
doesn't really matter. But this express checkout is where we would change uh, that add to cart to a purchase button. This works well again because I've just got one book, one product to sell. If you've got multiple products, then you'll probably want to keep the uh, checkout on so that people can add things to a cart and then uh, and then um, and then check out after that. Everything else with the uh, with the checkout uh, style and all that stuff is really really nice, but it's something you can um, you can go in and and change as you want. So I'm gonna go hit save and we'll see what kind of changes that made. Okay, so I'm just gonna refresh my page here and see if that add to cart changed to purchase. All right, there it changed to purchase. Um, so that's perfect. So now we've created our book page. Um, I recommend uh, definitely go into store settings. Um, it's it's live right now. If you wanted to test this, the checkout um, procedure, just go ahead and turn that off. And then now you can go in and, and go through as if a customer was going to go um, check out uh, your product and see how everything works, see how it all looks. And then when you're ready to go live, you can just press that on button and then visitors can then buy your book. And I have to say, I've done the test with uh, Squarespace and they've got some really nice features with their commerce, um, tracking inventory, tracking um, um, which orders have been shipped, all the email um, updates they give you when somebody's made uh, a purchase is really, really nice. And especially with their integration with Stripe, it works really well. So we've now set up our, um, essentially our store, our ability to sell our product. And that's great. Uh, the next thing I want to do in the next video is show you how to uh, set up this notification bar, which I think is a pretty handy little feature. So we'll do that in the next video.